Haguten Er Shabbos. Today's video I'm recording with my fifth grade Gemara class of Yeshiva schools. Talmidim, I'd like to share with you an interpretation, an explanation on a Rashi in this week's Parsha and apply it to the tragic situation that's going on in Eretz Yisrael. The Pasuk in Parsha's Noyach states, Vayavai Noyach uvona v'ishtoi, Noyach with his sons and his wife, Unashevanov and his son's wife, came, Itoi with him, El Hateva, to the ark, Mipnei me Hamabel, because of the waters of the flood. And it's obvious when you learn those words in the Pasuk that the words, Mipnei me Hamabel, because of the waters of the flood, they're extra. They're redundant. The Pasuk could have just said that Nayach and his sons and his wife and his son's wife came to the Teva. Says Rashi, explains Rashi the following. He says, Af Nayach miktane amona hoya. Nayach was also lacking in faith, in the Muna, in Hashem. Maimin, the Enoi Maimin, he believed, but he didn't believe. He was wavering in his belief. Shayavai HaMabal, if the Mabal would come. Veloi Nichnas Leteva, and he didn't enter the Ark, the Teva, Ad Shed Chaku HaMayim, until the waters forced him to do so. So that's what the Pasuk is saying. That when did Noach enter the Teva, Mipnei Meha Mabal, when the waters forced him, because he didn't really believe there would be a Mabal, a flood. Now that's a little bit difficult to understand. Noach was lacking faith. So I once heard an interpretation that you actually need to move that comma by one word. And really the way the Rashi goes is the following. Af Noach miktane hamona hoyamaimen. Noach believed in the people who presented themselves as they don't have faith. Noach believed in them. And he knew and he thought that even though they present themselves as not having faith, they really have faith, and therefore the Mabu will never come. And he didn't enter the Teva until the waters actually pushed him into the Teva. So by moving the comma by one word, Rashi's telling us something dramatically different. It wasn't that Noyach was lacking faith. To the contrary, Noyach had the faith in the people who appeared that they didn't have faith that the mob would come. He believed in them that they would do tshuva. And that's why he didn't go into the mob. It's an amazing vart. Amazing concept. This past Friday, I was going on Mitzayim, outreach, to put on tefillin with Jewish men and encourage the women to light the Shabbos candles. And this person walks right by the table. I said, excuse me, sir, are you Jewish? Would you like to put on tefillin? And he said, not interested. He walked around 100 feet. He turned around. He came back to me. And he said, I am a physician. I'm a doctor. I'm actually going to Eretz Yisrael tomorrow to work in a hospital in Yerushalayim. And you know, he said, I thought about it. I should really put on tefillin because it will add blessing and it will be a mitzvah that will help me be successful in Eretz Yisrael to heal whoever I have to heal. So here's a person that maybe one could think he acts like he doesn't, he's not interested, but really he has an ashama deep within him and it just needed to be sparked ignited, and he was very interested in putting on tefillin. Tamida, I want to conclude with a message for you. Sometimes we don't have faith in ourselves. We question if we can help and contribute to the situation in Eretz Yisrael. And what I'd like to share with you is that each and every one of you has special talents and the ability to contribute by davening in a very special way, by saying Tehillim, by increasing an Avas Yisrael, by doing another mitzvah, by singing Hashiach Samecha, by each and every one of us doing what we can, we help the Jews in Eretz Yisrael and throughout the entire world. Have a wonderful Shabbos.